Next up, at UFC Sao Paulo, we have Vitor Petrino taking on Modestus Bukowskis. Vitor Petrino is undefeated. He's looking for his fourth UFC win. He's taking on Modestus Bukowskis, 15-5 and five overall, 4-1 and one in his last five. He is riding a four-fight win streak. These odds have yo-yoed a bit, but they've pretty much stayed where they are, right? They'll go up, they'll go down, but they haven't really jumped wildly, just little movements here and there. And I get it because despite Vitor Petrino being an absolute monster, right? This guy has an insane left hook, dangerous striker. He is turning into a grappler himself. He's got 11 takedowns in his last two fights. Takedown defense, not great. He does get taken down pretty often, but he does a nice job of working his way back up to his feet, avoiding any danger on the ground. He was even a full triangle choke in a contender series and just power bombed his way out of it. He can be a problem for a lot of people, but he gets a little loose, a little reckless. He's got to button some things up. So you have all that wild athleticism out of this guy. You've seen him wrestle. You've seen him strike. He's got all those things. But then you have Modestus Bukowski. This guy's a versatile striker. He is dangerous on his feet. Could be a little bit low volume, and you'll see that he has a negative striking differential when I get to the next slide here. But he has all the tools to be successful. He's got a 75% takedown defense. Up until February, he had never been taken down before. He's coming off the close win over Zach Pauga, where... He didn't land as many strikes and he was taken down. But I get why, and obviously odds-wise, it's not that close of a fight. Minus 223, plus 188. But I get why the line hasn't really done much because I can see people looking at those odds and saying, well, I, I think these are correct. Why? What is it now? Minus 193 for Vitor. Okay, so it's, it's a little bit of movement. Nothing too crazy. But I can see people saying, like, this is pretty accurate because Vitor should be more athletic, should be the harder hitter, should have the grappling advantage. But he's a little wild. He makes mistakes. He gets taken down. And he's hittable. And then you have Modestus Bukakis, Bukowskis, the technical striker, could sort of light his face up and make something happen. I am still going to lean Vitor. I don't have a bet here. I'm going to avoid the bets. I think there's too many questions still. Even though Vitor has three solid wins in the UFC, I, st uh, I still think there's too many questions. He's a little too reckless, and Modestus Bukowskis is the exact type of guy that all of a sudden can just uh, highlight the difference between technical striking and just fast athleticism with some power. So Vitor is the pick, but no bet here. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Um, yeah, Vitor is going to be the pick. But let me just say this right now and make it pretty clear. I don't really trust a guy like Vitor. I mean, he he should have all the tools, as Angel mentioned, mostly because of it, as, as just plain strength and athleticism. He can beat a guy like Modestus because Modestus is a good, he's a good fighter, but he does get hit. He doesn't react very well to getting hit, and he's not just like a, a, a blow you away with type of like a power shot type of guy. So, Vitor is my pick, but I honestly don't think he's that good. Like, as far as, like, an actual, like, technical fighter to where you need to be in the right positions with head movement and the way you throw strikes and the way you get takedowns, at, at 205, I don't know if he's a top 10 guy. Not at this point. He's still young, right? He's only 26 years old. I'm sure he'll figure it out. And one of the things you can't teach is his fucking strength and athleticism. He can't teach that. So, if he's got to learn the rest of the stuff, it's a good thing that he already has that as his base. Long story short. He's going to have to let athleticism. I think he's going to find the power and actually knock out a guy like Modestus because he possesses that power. Modestus does get hit. He should be able to get the takedowns. Eventually, we are going to fade Vitor. If you want to play chess, you almost hope that Vitor smokes Modestus so he comes into his next fight at minus 350, minus 400, and we can start fading. Now, I'm going to start fading him at some point, just not this fight. He should have enough to get it done versus Modestus, but... You know, if you're going to play me, you might, you might as well play him just inside the distance or something. Or even inside the distance decisional action, maybe. Let me see. He's been to decisions, though. He's not just a finisher. I know. But I'm saying, like, I would rather play it that way. And then, I mean, if he wins, he wins. But, you know, if it's going through a decision, it might be a close fight. So I don't even want my money anywhere near. If it's a close fight, I'd rather just hedge on getting my money back. It's minus 325, so it's probably not worth it. Yeah, and he, I mean, he's coming off the win over Marcin Prochnia. So he has fought good people. And he's, like... My team pro channel is good. Do you think that Vitor is eventually a top 10 guy? No. Not any time in his career? He's already 26. You guys, you're making it sound like 26 is young. It's not young. Not in the UFC. I mean, most of these guys are still fighting at the top level or 33, 34, 35. So, he's got fucking and then, and seven then it's years. a wildly quick drop off. 35, like, that. I mean, your physical prime is, they say, 37. They say that? 
Who says that? I heard it. It was on TikTok. Yeah. Same same mother who told that's you that you're what, uh, keep growing? You that's what Anytime taller, MMA baby. told me. Anytime MMA said it. All right. We'll look it up. Uh, so we're both on the Vitor side. You trust him at $9,000 in DraftKings. That's going to get interesting because all of a sudden, the dude is wild and does put up numbers and wins. If he's not finishing a guy like Modestus, I mean, he really, honestly, he should finish a guy like Modestus because Modestus isn't dangerous, so he can eat those shots. He can get in the pocket. He can land. He should be able to land. And if he lands, he should be able to knock him out. So, I mean, I think he's going to win early. I just, I just He didn't finish Anton Turkalge. Well, he went, like, all in on the wrestling the whole time. If he wrestles, he might not finish him. But if he just stands there and strikes, he should be able to knock him out. And I think in front of the home fans, he's going to be like, all right, let me just, just fucking just knock this guy out. I mean, he may end up being. I I would I'd feel more comfortable spending nine thousand on him in DraftKings fantasy than laying out two hundred and twenty three dollars to win a hundred in a real bet. Well, it's one ninety three now, remember? Oh, okay, we're under the two hundred. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's that dementia. I'd get some change back. If you um, have you tried uh, nicotine? No. You know that, is that good for now, my dementia. You know, now the thing is like it like nicotine's like good for you is like because I guess when it's in cigarettes and stuff it's like the other stuff that makes cigarettes bad it's not the nicotine but it's an addictive thing but it's good for apparently helping alzheimer's because it keeps your brain stimulated keeps it going wow i should i should definitely maybe i'll get a patch for these shows yeah i'll just start dipping well i mean they have like just nicotine packs you could take actually on kill tony they have uh nicotine toothpicks and you kind of look you'd actually might look halfway like a man if you put a toothpick in your mouth I don't ever look features. like a real man. Like, even, like, I can't grow a Show beard. Show the, uh... The what? Cover... My Johnson? What are you doing? Uh, cover, cover your family and show the holiday pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't grow a beard. Uh, I, uh, I can't uh, wear certain hats. I, I, like, I just, I, I can never pull off looking like a man. I when's the last, have you ever, kid. like, actually just to see what it looks like grown out of beer? Just to see, like, what's the longest you've gone? Um, well, because we film this, I'll always shave after a little bit. It's just patchy. I'll get a mustache. But like, what's the I'll longest you've ever, like, if you had it at all? Like, if you've grown out at all? No, once it gets, like, soft, it, like, bothers the absolute piss. <laughs> <laughs> all right and i'm supposed to be like some greasy hairy italian but i'm not at all. i'm like back. smooth everywhere yeah let's see the back i have no body hair like none and my chest hair is like choo, choo, choo. it's pathetic you know where i get really long hairs my no, dad thank does you. it too you know my dad does it. <laughs> no thank you <laughs> oh, i saw it in the show <laughs> uh, <laughs> is nipple hairs mine are blonde though all my hair okay. is pretty much blonde but my dad will get like long ass black nipple hairs and he just loves it. Just lives with it. Well, I, I mean, we want pix.com to become a member. 